Anyone advertising on Google may have been the victim of click fraud without even knowing it. And it may be costing your business hundreds, if not thousands of dollars each and every month. In this video, I'm gonna cover everything you need to know about click fraud. Plus, I'll be giving away a free bonus gift to those who watch the video right through to the very end. Hi everyone, and welcome to a new video tutorial about pay-per-click marketing. I'm Esteban Martinez from Addicted to PPC, and if you're new to my channel, you'll find out that my aim is to help you improve visibility for your business online to get more customers, sales, and of course, revenue. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do so now and click the bell icon in the, uh, the screen below so you'll get notified as soon as a new video goes live. What is click fraud? Click fraud is simply when a person or computer clicks on a pay-per-click advert maliciously in an attempt to waste a company's online budget and prevent their ads from appearing in the search engine results page. Google refers to this as invalid clicks. Their definition is manual clicks intended to increase your advertising costs or to increase profits for website owners hosting your ads. Clicks by automated clicking tools, robots or other deceptive software. As well as clicks that provide no value to the advertiser such as the second click of a double click. Also, when Google determines that clicks are invalid, they'll try to filter them out from your reports and payments so that you're not charged for these clicks. And if they do find any that have escaped through this automatic detection, you may be eligible to receive a credit from these clicks. And these can be found on your invoice as invalid activity. Who commits click fraud? This is broken up into three areas of bots, click farms and competitors. At least 40% of the internet traffic is non-human and some of these click bots are designed to commit PBC click fraud. With competitors, these are people who are competing against you in the ad auction and individuals who are manually clicking on your adverts to use up your budget and remove your business from appearing on Google or Bing. And click farms are software programs used by competitors to automatically click on your ads to do the same activity. Recently, ABC News did a cover on a click farm that they discovered in China. Here's a quick video on exactly what happened. It's an odd sight. Wall to wall, mobile phones plugged in and switched on. There's all these sort of farms um, that are used through a combination of sort of uh, artificial intelligence and like walls of phones that are just kind of, you know, clicking things over and over and clicking likes over and over. And they create this artificial interest uh, or this sense of artificial interest or engagement in certain things. This is what's known as a click farm. So how common is click fraud? According to click fraud statistics, an estimated $27.2 billion was lost due to click fraud in 2018. That's an increase of 62% over $16.7 billion in 2017. So how can you check your account for click fraud? First, you need to head over to your Google Ads account, then over to your campaigns, and then simply click on your columns and modify columns. Then under performance, select invalid clicks and invalid click rate, and then click apply. Here you'll see these metrics in these two columns here. As we can see for the, over the last four months, this account has received for an account level of 37.55% of invalid clicks, or to put it another way, 22,452 clicks. When we multiply this by the average cost per click of $21.72, we then find the actual cost of this being 
$487,657.44 over the past four months. What's more, during the peak of this activity, we can see inside with the same graph under the invalid clicks, under the invalid click rate, at its worst point, there was over 80% of clicks were invalid. This is a huge issue for our client as well as for Google. It is important to highlight that these clicks and costs have already been filtered out of the account, although it shows just how bad this issue is. What can you do to prevent click fraud? First, you can enable auto tagging. This is done at the account settings, where Google will allow you um, to place a unique ID for anyone who clicks on your ads. These IDs will be recorded on your website log, which you'll be able to use with Google to investigate any click fraud on your account. Second, you can use the correct targeting settings. This is important because at the very beginning, Google will, will recommend you use a wider remit to attract more people. But what you should really do under your location, location options is target people in these locations only and not go for those who are of any other area. This will help filter out anyone who is coming from overseas, which is where bot traffic and click farms can be located. And third, using click fraud detection programs such as Clicksees. This works by placing a short piece of code within your account settings under the tracking template. Then every time your Google ads are clicked on, it will record all their core details, including the IP address, date, time, location, device, and other core metrics to identify each and every click. Then if a, the same user clicks on an advert numerously, numerous times on a paid advert within a short duration, the software will bring this to your attention and send you an email to review. Also, these settings can be fully customized and configured within your account, giving you full and complete control on how strict you want these click rules to be, as well as what action to take. This can also include blocking malicious users automatically by excluding their IP address and activity from the Google Ads account directly. By using click fraud software, you can detect click fraud as soon as it happens in real time, recover lost money from your PBC account, as well as block fraudulent clicks. Another way to identify click fraud is re reviewing keywords on your account which have an unrealistically high click-through rate, such as 200%. This is when one impression is shown and two clicks are received. How to submit a Google refund form for invalid clicks. If you suspect that you are still experiencing click fraud, then you can submit a click quality form for Google to investigate. This requires 16 fields detailing information covering the date when the suspicious activity started and ended, the account, campaigns, ad groups and keywords affected, IP addresses, uh, summary of the activity, as well as other detail. Please note it can take up to 14 days to review and process your inquiry. So now you know how to check your account for click fraud and what you can do to prevent it. I'd love to hear from you guys with what your invalid click through rate is and any questions you have, please leave them in the comment section below. And for those of you who have stayed to the very end of this video, I thank you. And your bonus is a 20% discount off ClickSeas, which will help save you even more money and get better results for PPC when you use the promotion code addicted to PPC. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.